up, Noah? How's it going, man? Brittany and Aaron, good morning. How are you two doing this morning? You're doing fantastic. <laughs> nice, nice, very nice today. All right, well, let's talk about the new Netflix series, Hyperdrive. So what's going to instantly make fans fall in love with this Glober Motor competition series? Because I hear it is like no other. It is absolutely like no other. So whatever you could imagine as being like the gnarliest racing series competition that you could imagine, think bigger. They put together some <laughs> of the most insane obstacle courses and put 28 drivers from across the world against each other to compete. And it's more or less, it's like Ninja Warrior meets wow. Fast and the Furious. Yeah. <laughs> Competition based and everyone trying Ooh. to move forward with it, you know? Well, it's going to be the biggest, baddest automotive obstacle course ever built just for this show, you guys. So what did you both think when you saw the course for the first time? I mean, I'm sure it was mind blowing, right? Uh, yeah, it was just kind of like hard to take in because you don't understand how big it is and how much is going on in mm -hmm. all the little sections just like put together. So you're just like, wow, this is incredible. It was it was literally yeah. a state of shock because they had told us almost nothing <laughs> leading up to that. So us just arriving, it was just like, wow, holy crap. Uh -huh. <laughs> Brittany, you know, you're from Louisville, Texas and Aaron, you're from Quartz Hill, California. So when did you, you know, when, when did you both know you had a passion for racing cars, when did you guys get interested in wanting to pursue a career in this? I mean, so for me, it honestly, the first time I was ever put in a drift car, which ironically enough, it was my husband that gave me my first ride along in a drift car. And then he taught me how to do a donut and two weeks later, wow. I bought my own drift car and literally the rest is history. I was instantly addicted. Yeah, for me, it was kind of like a natural yeah. progression from like uh -huh. BMX and uh, you know, like, having to pedal on a bike and then getting my license and then all of a sudden I could like push down on something and then just be like <laughs> propelled forward at like a really fast rate. That was kind of really addictive uh, for me. And um, I just got into cars and modifying them at an early age and natural progression and now it's like motorsports, so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, this show is also executive produced by actress Charlize Theron, you know, an actress in Hollywood who is beloved by many and has really had such a successful career. So have you two met her or, you know, because I mean, I know it has to feel good to be part of something Charlize is working on to executive produce. It is yeah. absolutely amazing. So Charlize is awesome. Uh, and I didn't realize until this show that she was such a huge automotive enthusiast, which is really cool because I can obviously relate on her or relate to yeah. her on mm -hmm. such a level. Uh, unfortunately, we did not get to meet her, yeah. but one day. For sure, oh. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> So what are the audiences really going to be in for? Because we know this is going to be an extraordinary show. So what are the fans going to look forward to watching the most when they check out Hyperdrive on Netflix? You know, I don't think they're going to be ready for what's going to hit them. But if you like cars, um, action strategy, crazy things happening, like demolition derby, uh, you can expect all those things in one. And then luckily, to be, um, I guess you could say, fall in love with some of the nicest and best people that I've ever met. Yeah, literally. absolutely. I mean, even if you're not into cars, it's mm -hmm. still 100% a show worth watching. Like seeing some of the competitors' stories from where they came from, how they got where they are, and see their progression through the course, it honestly, like, you'll find yourself literally screaming yeah. from the couch <laughs> or potentially crying and it's yeah. uh it'll be a good one for sure well we're gonna feel like we're on this ride with you guys be sure to catch hyperdrive a new netflix series at launching wednesday august the 21st thank you so much Brittany and aaron for joining me this morning it was a pleasure to speak with you both and best of luck with the series thank you noah Thanks, you have noah. a wonderful day have a good one bye guys bye peace